Okay. Guys, thanks for uh, spending your Saturday morning with me today, and uh, thanks for Trade Thirsty for allowing me to come in here and show you something I think is pretty daggone special here. Um, we're going to look at our, well, my company's, I'm the CEO of my company, the uh, TAS Profile Indicators, and we're also going to look at this scanner that we've built that I believe takes all the guesswork out of finding opportunities in the marketplace. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so one of the things that I want to start out with is some basic theory on market profile, which is if you guys have heard of market profile, a lot of our products are based around that concept. And one of the things that I want to do immediately is show you this risk disclaimer. And um, I know everybody's going to read that later on the recording, so we're going to kind of blow through this really quick. And uh, here's a little bit about me. Um, I was basically um, in the Board of Trade for about 10 years, ran a pretty big prop group there. I have a software company and uh, sold a product to Bank of America about 10 years ago. Um, owned a broker-dealer, done quite a few things in the investment world. Uh, one of the things, though, that as you read this, one of the things that was always something that I could lean on was a concept called market profile, which was developed by Pete Stottlemyre. Um, he sold it to the Board of Trade for about $100 million bucks, actually, and I happened to be lucky enough to spend two years with him on floor 38 there when I was in the Board of Trade uh, with him and a guy named Dick File, who's uh, one of the biggest bond traders up there. And one of the things that always irked me about Pete and market profile in general was it was a very subjective way of looking at the markets. It was a, it was a great idea. But what I wanted to do ultimately was turn it into a very rules-based, objective viewpoint on how to analyze markets, not via time at price, but volume at price, and develop a pretty serious rules-based environment around it. So this is what we're going to start off with today, um, and then we're going to show you how my rules-based indicators and the scanner allows you to find opportunities very quickly and look at things very black and white, in my opinion. So this is our agenda today, market profile background, the indicators, the scanner, putting it all together, and then we're going to take some questions and answers. And I apologize for having to go so quickly today, but we've only got about 50 minutes, and I want to take some questions, and then we're going to be offering a deal through Trade Thirsty that a lot of my resellers and uh, partners out there are going to get angry about, but we're going to, we're going to do it today. So anyway couple of questions first. How can we use Market Profile to find powerful trade setups that we can leverage? How do we find the best opportunities related to Market Profile analysis across the entire marketplace? How can we block out one side of the market to know when only go long or go short? And this is the most important question today, in my opinion. And in our proprietary trading groups, we, we always like to, to have the traders understand when it's okay to be long, not okay to be short, or okay to be short and not okay to be long. And that way it makes it very, very simple in their mind that I'm either supposed to be buying dips, buying breakouts, or selling resistance and selling breakdowns. It's pretty much that simple. And when you kind of boil it down into that state, um, it, it's, it makes it easy on everybody. Where are the areas to be aware of to enter and exit trade? So a lot of times, when you look at uh, inflection points in general and levels to, to pick your battles, what we're going to show you today is something that is extremely important to be patient and wait for the market to come to you most of the time. And that's a very, very calming, relaxing feeling when you can have that in your arsenal. And if we can find these valid trade setups, then what types of trading strategies can be used to take advantage of them? We're not going to talk a lot about strategies today. But I wanted to point out that this information allows you to go long or short the outright, perform option strategies around, do hedging. Um, and I've got a long-term licensing deal with Bloomberg. And at any point in time, about 1% to 3% of their population logs on to this information within the Bloomberg terminal to analyze technically what a lot of the portfolio managers are looking at. So here's an example of the set of 
three of the indicators that you're going to be receiving in the package today. Here's what we call our profiles, these three lines. There's a navigator down below. And then there's a color-coded scheme that we call Vega as the chart unfolds here. We're looking at Apple. We're also going to look at our scanner, which again, in my opinion, put, puts things in a very black and white state. So two of the products that we're going to be offering today are the indicators, which overlay on 10 different platforms. And now we've got Thinkorswim done, which is, yay, <laughs> has been uh, a little bit of a journey, but we uh, found a way to do that along with you know the trade stations, the meta traders of the world, and uh, this scanner is actually standalone. So you don't need a data feed for this. We sell this product uh, to quite a few institutions and it gives real-time price derivative indications and it does not require a data feed. So the indicators are gonna be an overlay on your platform, your existing platform, and we've got Thinkorswim done. And the scanner, you actually, it's a, piece of software that you install and uh, you receive everything from us. All right, so let's talk about market profile first. Um, what we're not going to talk about today is this. We're not going to talk about volume relative to time, and that's a weird looking X there, sorry about that. We're not going to talk about volume relative to time. We're going to talk about volume relative to price. All right. So a little bit of background here. The original market profile divided the day into about 13 sections, and it divided it into 30-minute spaces. And I just have a chart here on the left. This is going to be the quickest dissertation in market profile you've ever gotten. First 30 minutes between 1063, 1070, the next 30 minutes between 1066, 1072, and so on. So you're kind of marking the territory of 30-minute spans and what price did in those 30-minute spans. And what Stoudemire had done was labeled in letters B, C, D, just exactly how this looks here, very similar here. And then at the end of the day, he collapsed all this information on the left to the left and created what we call a profile, completed profile. And these are called time price opportunities, right? But we're not going to be talking about time at price. We're going to be talking about volume at price. This is my version of market profile and is widely accepted uh, across the planet by quite a few institutions. And we're going to actually show you a lot of, a lot of how this works today in these two products. So, what we want to look at is volume relative to price. And you're used to seeing price not on the horizontal axis. You're used to seeing it on the vertical axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this into the familiar metaphor of price being like this, up and down. And then how much volume was actually printed at those particular prices. And here's what we're kind of getting back to, which is a completed profile if that looks familiar to what the market profile slides we looked at earlier are. And I want you to think of this, if you can, almost in a bell curve analysis. So this, this is called a normal distribution in Statistics 101. And what this area is right here, this is that meaty part of the bell curve, right? So we've got a standard deviation away from that peak of distribution right here. And here's where most of the data usually lies, right in here, okay? And what we want to do is we want to turn this on its side. There's that balanced area or meaty part of the bell curve, and that's looking like a profile. Now, what we're looking at is, again, volume relative to a certain price. Now, this is the premise on everything else we're going to talk about in today's webinar. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. One of the things that I did was I said, okay, well, let's, let's focus on that meaty part of the bell curve or the balanced area. Let's call that upper limit the unfair high. Let's call that lower limit the unfair low. And let's just call that a red line and a green line just to make it simple. And the high volume node, we're going to label it as another line, a, a blue line or a gray line. So we've got the unfair low the unfair high, 
of the profile of that meaty part of the bell curve where most of the data should lie. And these inflection points are going to play a major role in what we're going to talk about today. And I am not an artist, <laughs> as you can see. All right, so boiling it down even further, we're going to have a, a red line, a green line, and a blue line. And we're not even going to talk today too much about the blue line. We're going to focus on the outer limits of the profile or of that meaty part of the bell curve. And I'll call it a balanced area or a fair auction. So when prices are in here, you basically have buyers and sellers in a balanced state. So what we're looking at here is that red line and that green line. Okay, and we talked about the balanced state, and we want to call balanced markets are an expression of time dimension, and in balanced markets, when we have a price action going outside of these balanced areas, we're going to call imbalanced markets, and they are expression of price dimension. Success in trading is dependent on traders being able to accurately differentiate between these dominant phases of market movement with near certainty. All right, we've said a lot so far. I want to try to make this as simple as possible. And what we're going to do is look at, first of all, just those profiles as they're automatically outputted by my algorithm on an IBM chart. And these are things you don't have to set. You don't have to you know, look back in time and try to figure out what happened. These are automatically outputted for you with this particular indicator. So. IBM, this, I took this maybe a month or two ago, this picture. But as you can see, these areas to pick battles are pretty important when it comes to IBM. Breakouts, backing and filling, areas to pick battles, okay to be short, not okay to be long. There's some simple rules to use these, this particular one indicator, and you're going to be receiving seven in the package today. Uh, but what we're going to talk about is a very easy to use rules based envir environment using this. So how cool would it have been to know when IBM was in a state where it was okay to be short, not okay to be long, right at this area in here. Okay. So one of the things, uh, and this is, that was a daily time frame. This is IBM on a weekly time frame. So what I wanted to point out here is that this one particular indicator that a lot of the information is built on is usable on multiple time frames. And one of the ways I like to use it is when multiple time frames line up in a confluence of inflection points. And we're going to show you examples of that today and how to use it. So some of the simple rules, rule number one, don't be short when price is trading above TAS profiles. Okay, so when, when you are trading above profiles, remember, it's okay to be long, not okay to be short. And when you're trading see if I can get this thing to work here. And when you're trading below profiles, don't be long. It's okay to be short. You don't have to be short, but it's okay to be short and not okay to be long. That's pretty simple. Also, you'll notice that sometimes these profiles are in force a long time. Sometimes they're, they're not very wide. Sometimes they are very wide. But this Profile algorithm has its own volatility calculating component. The narrow, the top to bottom, the profiles, the lower the volatility. The wider the profiles, the higher the volatility. This helps you accurately measure risk to reward ratios. And this is a cardinal rule before taking any trades. So guys out there who are trading options, a lot of people use this information to trade options. If we've got a low volatility situation, what do you do in options trading? You want When volatility is low, you want to be buying it. When volatility is high, you want to be selling it. And when these profiles automatically appear, you know most, or I know most of the time, uh, statistically speaking, about 85% of the time, a lot of times when you have a new uh, profile appear, you will see the other side of the profile. Okay, It's just a natural evolution of fair auction theory that you're going to traverse most of the time through the entire balanced area. And sometimes you'll, you'll bounce off of it and sometimes you'll break down. But like I said at the very beginning, this gives you very clear rules-based scenarios to at least let the market come to you, pick battles, short or long, and be patient and wait for those particular setups to happen. 
Here's a graph that I made just kind of showing you in a color-coded scheme here, a situation where it's okay to be long, within profiles, gray, okay to be long, okay to be short, breaking below profiles. And then one of the things that um, is really difficult for you know everybody, including me, is to kind of let a fine wine breathe. Let things evolve and don't try to take profits uh, you know, quickly. A lot of people can't stand to see profits. They just want to take them immediately, and then you you look back later, like on Bitcoin, I guess, and uh, <laughs> see, see it's at twenty thousand, um, and you owned it at three. So uh, this is one of the things that keeps me from you know taking profits too soon. It allows me to look at markets in a way that you know. I mean, sometimes there are trading ranges to be profits to be taken upon, but a lot of times the profiles will tell you it's okay to even add to a position, and we're going to go through that pretty quickly today. Here's an example just on using this one indicator um, on Tesla. So Tesla, I believe, when we started in this area, we were at approximately around 220, 230, and then we ended up about 377. So about a 150 point rise in Tesla, but if you just use those simple rules, okay to be short, not okay to be long, okay to be long, not okay to be short, you'd have picked up 425 points in the same time frame that Tesla moved up about 150 points here. All right? And this is, you know, again, let the market come to you, profiles are moving higher, let the market come to you, profile appearing maybe take some off here. I mean, there's some very simple things to take advantage of here. And Tesla is extremely volatile. This is a weekly view. And it's nice to have something as a barometer to, um, and this is what Tesla's done recently. So again, gotten to the top of the profile after I took that picture. We had a little bit of a breakdown here, but what's interesting about Tesla right now is the first time, and this is since December of last year, first time we've had profiles edged farther south. All right, and actually, this is a big deal. So in my opinion, right now, 363, just on Tesla alone, is going to be your resistance area to look at this from the short side because you've kind of got a worm turning here on Tesla in general. And I'm showing you two other indicators here. We've got our navigator down below, which is in a divergent state of what's going on with Tesla in general. This is a big, big deal. And we've also got our Vega, which is basically color coding when it's okay to be long. And we had a little bit of a short stop out there, but here's a, a really nice picture of Vega being short here. I'm going to take, I don't know if anybody's asking questions right now, but I'm going to take questions towards the end of this um, presentation today. So uh, I'm not even looking at the questions right now, but I will answer them. Here's Apple, similar situation. Uh, in a time frame where Apple went from about 75 to 160, uh, I think we doubled the amount of points just by using this technology here. And again, how nice would it have been to know when Apple started breaking below 125, save yourself a bunch of grief and then get back in down here. So that's, again, just using that one indicator. Uh, and here's what Apple's done recently. And I want you to note, while Apple's in this uptrend recently, this is weekly profiles again. Um, had a little bit of a fake out there. I actually personally thought we were at that point we were going to um, continue to break down on Apple, but when we had a close back in the profile and then a retest, um, again, it was not okay to be short anymore. So what this product does for a lot of folks out there, it keeps them out of trouble, allows them to be patient in their trading, and know when the right side of the market to be on is, is upon us. Um, recently, you got Apple kind of backing and filling into 166.73, and then we got a, a launch into 174. So just on this one alone, okay, new profile, backing and filling, place to pick a battle, and these are automatically outputted for you. You would have put, picked up five points on Apple in the last week and been, you know, even still lower than when it, where Apple peaked. So I just wanted to show a real-time chart here. So what if we could use this information to scan the market for opportunities? What if we could increase the odds of these opportunities by being able to also market time the index? And what if we could put all this information 
into an easy to read dashboard. So one of the things you're going to also be given today in the offer is actually the scanner. So the indicators themselves, which overlay on 10 different platforms, including Thinkorswim now, um, are a predicate of the TAS profile scanner. And what this does is it scans the entire marketplace. And let me, the scanner scans the entire marketplace, futures, forex, and equities to find ripe opportunities when they're happening. One of the things that the scanner was born out of was the institutional world. A lot of folks in Bloomberg, I speak you know, globally for Bloomberg on their charting days um, in you know, most of the major cities, Seoul, Jakarta, Shanghai, Singapore, Hong Kong. I've got an office in Asia. Um, and one of the big things that, you know, the feedback we always got was, Logan, we love your indicators on Bloomberg, but, you know, we don't have time to surf over, you know, 185 stocks in our portfolio and figure out what's going on on different time frames with your indicators. Can't you just build a scanner that does it all for us and lets us know where we're at all the time so we can quickly view these things and then know when things are changing? So the scanner was born out of that. And one of the things I want to show you today is three particular features of this scanner, which uses that same information that we talked about with the indicators. So knowing the state of an instrument on different time frames determines the possibilities. And more importantly, the angle of attack if it's warranted. With a color and numerical system, this allows you to quickly view and understand the instrument without looking at the charts. So what does that mean? That means that you can use the scanner to look at, and I've got Apple highlighted here, and this is you know, a little bit, little ways back on Apple, um, when Apple was trading, uh, I think this is when Apple was trading about 150, I think, but it shows you all instruments in a color-coded numerical scheme to where you can filter, and I'm going to show you this really quick. Here's our scanner, and here's this dashboard in real time. And if I want to come in here and see what stocks are trading above profiles on the weekly and the daily, and there's a lot of strong stocks obviously lately, I can also find out which ones are breaking out on the daily by doing some sorts here. So these are stocks that are in their first breakout out of profiles on their first day. I just sorted that column. You can come in here and try to find some anomalies here, what stocks have been strong but are starting to break down for the first time. Marathon Oil and obviously uh, Oracle Corp. So one of the things that the scanner does on that particular uh, side of the fence is it allows you to sort manually. We're also going to talk about the matrix section in the scanner which basically does everything for you to find opportunities. It's a very, very cool uh, piece in the scanner. The other thing I want to talk about in the scanner was we've, we've aggregated these profiles into a market timing tool. And what does that mean? That means that we've basically taken every instrument within the index and allow you to, uh, to know when stocks are trading in general, the broad market, positive breadth, which is the calculation here of what's going on with every single stock. And what we've done studies on, I'm getting ready to show you, is when these two particular time frames of aggregation of all of these profiles are in a positive direction or a negative direction together, here's the statistics. All right? So what does this mean for you? This means that when you're looking at the scanner and looking and you feel like you have a market edge with looking at the aggregation of these within the scanner, aggregation of the underlying instruments, if the, if the speed dials are both pointing in the same direction to go long for in this instance, you're supposed to be buying the dips and buying breakouts. You're supposed to block out the short side. And if you can go into the scanner and find long opportunities, which I'm going to show you how to do in a little bit, then you know you're increasing the odds as a trader. So you're only trying to find long opportunities, trying to buy strong stocks. And if you're going to sell any stocks, you want to find the, the weak stocks in the scanner. This is what we're talking about now, though, the opportunity matrix. This exactly finds those particular opportunities, long or short, in the stock market. So not only does the scanner 
find opportunities and allow you to gauge things in the Forex and futures markets. It also finds opportunities that you probably would miss relative to these profiles in the equities market. And this is a picture of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the scanner live and I saved a couple of things from picks that we had last week in the my trade section. So what I did is I looked at our matrix. These are the stocks that are showing opportunities right now. And there's six different algorithms saying breakouts, breakdowns, support trades, resistance trades. I can block out all long opportunities really quickly. As you can see, there hadn't been a lot of short opportunities lately, um, but there are some. Um, and really be able to drill down into it. So I went into, these are some stocks I saved uh, last week. Here's, here's when, um, and let me add a column here. So Wyndham Worldwide Corp. So what this particular product does, it, it gives you entry, stop, and target. It also gives you risk reward. This Wynn group has had a really good risk reward, three to one. It gives you what that particular stock is doing relative to the market. It gives you a relative percent change. And by the way, on all this information that we're talking about today, we've got great videos and great learning tools. I've got a 77-page manual on the indicators alone, along with a market profile course that's going to be offered with this particular package today. So I know we're throwing, I'm throwing a lot at you right now. I'm aware of that. But there's a ton of, of material that we're going to be giving along with this package today. So wind groups, we had a nice situation here where we came back into the profile inflection point, picking a battle long, and it said uptrend, uptrend support long. Texas Instruments, on the other hand, a daily breakout. Okay? All right, so here's some different scenarios that we were making some money with on some picks we had a couple of weeks ago. And what the scanner does, like I said before, it labels these things exactly for you. Breakout, long opportunity on a daily time frame, entry, stop, target. So what it does is breakout, entry, and then you've got your targets here, 1783. So this particular trade, I just indexed it based on, I think, 1,000 shares. And this particular trade picked up 432 bucks. Here's another one. Another long trade. Got a nice gap up there. That wasn't expected. Also, Caterpillar. Um, again, that opportunity was right there as we crossed into that back down into that inflection point, letting the market come to you. So what the scanner does is it, it takes all the information that we talked about earlier and incorporates it into a actionable trade idea machine that this software basically gives you all the opportunities to, uh, to act on if you like. Here's Archer Daniels Midland. Nice little opportunity there. Nice target there. All these are predefined also. Entry, stop, target. Okay? We also have a quality score that I developed in here. So the higher the quality score, the better the long opportunity. The lower the quality score, the better the short opportunity. So I'm going to show you this in the scanner. So if I go back into my matrix area, and if I wanted to find high or low quality scores, I'm going to take these meters and just kind of spread them apart here. And let me see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort these. So if you'll notice, I've got high up. Let me see if I can whittle these down a little bit more here. So a lot of portfolio managers, they trade, they go long, strong stocks, and they go short, weak stocks. And what the quality score does for you is allow you to rank, allow you to rank them. So total system services is a strong stock relative to the market. It's got a high risk reward. The relative performance change is, is 1.41, but the quality score is very high. So this long opportunity is a stock that's outperforming the market and also breaking out at the same time. Okay? 
You can also whittle down the risk, whittle up the risk rewards, I should say, where you only want to find high risk reward scenarios. So if I want to look at Hasbro here, this is a stock with a very high risk reward entry stop target. It's a terrible RPC, which is great, and we're on the short side here, and the quality score is bad. So that's exactly what you want to see in a short opportunity. It's rallied back up so you could hit it again on the short side right there. So who are the TAS indicators and scanner good for? Any trader, beginner, intermediate, or expert. Any trader who wants to have a powerfully accurate tool to scan the markets. And a trader who wants to stop guessing for trades and allow full clarity with entry stops and targets. And anyone who wants to master good risk management on all trades. So one of the things that we did in our prop group in Chicago, and we had about 50 traders when I was in the border trade, was we gave them a fundamental platform to stand on that we knew everybody had a great chance to break even. But one of the things that you know any good trader is going to end up doing is he's going to change his position sizing based on when the odds are in his favor and he's going to have incredibly good risk management. He's going to take a lot of losses, small losses. So like the gentleman stated in the previous webinar today before me, you know, losing is part of this game and taking stops and mastering good risk management is incredibly powerful to do as a good trader. So um, that's one of the things that, you know, we had a profile that we looked at. We looked, you know, all of our traders, we kind of demographically, if you will, wanted to find guys who actually could take on risk but knew how to manage risk. And that was the biggest number one feature of uh, identifying a good trader for us. And this information put the odds in the favor of the trader to, to make that happen. The other product that we're going to be offering today is our TAS Profile Scanner that we talked about. It's a standalone scanner, market timing tool, no data required. So that's, that's, that's pretty awesome because it's, you're not going to have to pay exchange fees to run this. If you got this package today for no other reason than just having the scanner, you're way ahead of the game because the offer today is actually cheaper than what we offer the scanner for in general. And we're also uh, throwing in the indicators that now work on Thinkorswim. It's simple installation. There's a ton of videos that I've done on how to use this on every feature and how to get the maximum benefits out of the scanner. And uh, Trade Thirsty's got all those in the library. They're awesome. It's a clear analysis of equities, futures, and Forex via the dashboard. And it's an opportunity finder with all the details. So one of the things the institutions, again, you know, again, the reason this product was built basically was, you know, we we want actionable ideas. We love this information, but we continue to miss trades in the marketplace because we, we don't have a kind of a global way of looking at everything and finding those opportunities immediately. And this scanner pretty much drills down into the marketplace and finds those opportunities and puts them right on your dashboard for you. Um, like I said, we're throwing in the whole indicator package today, Allevi alleviates ambiguity of market profile, pinpoints the high value areas, low value areas, important control. And I've got a massive amount of videos that I've done on, and tutorials on, on how to wring money out of the marketplace on a day-to-day -day basis with this particular indicator package on your, uh, on your own platform. And, and a lot of guys use this package on very short-term time frames. They'll use them to trade S&Ps on a short-term time frame to the euro to, you know, the Aussie dollar cross. Um, and like I think the gentleman said before, he trades for like 10 or 15 pips back and forth. I mean, a lot of guys use this information on very short-term time frames. I, I showed some weekly uh, examples today, but um, I'm going to show you on my platform here that I usually have four different time frames. Here. Here's the XLF. This is the financial sector again, um, clearly showing, and I'm going to take some examples from you guys today, clearly showing breakouts, backing and filling moments, our navigator down below. We've got a little bit of divergence here on navigator and new highs on the XLF, so that's something I'm looking at right now. 
We're also doing this. This is a six hour deep dive into market profile and how it transgresses into our information. It is probably the best market profile course out there. We usually sell this for $997 alone. We're putting this in for guys, this is like a Santa special with Trade Thirsty. And this particular course, and a lot of people don't want to sit through six hours, that's fine, that's great. But you've got this as a massive opportunity, I feel, to get a deep dive into this analysis. And I, I did a, a very long three-month process to produce these six hours. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. You're also going to get some live market sessions with my partner and I up in Chicago, uh, Steve Dahl, and Trade Thirsty announces those, and we do some regular sessions all the time on how to use this and take a lot of question and answers on this information. So what we're doing today, the offer is uh, we're going to you're going to have access to the scanner and the profile indicators and the six-hour market profile course. I'm not even adding that into the 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 amount of money that we're um, having off today. It's six percent off. When you throw in the market profile course, it's even higher for a fourteen hundred ninety-seven dollar yearly subscription. You get all this, and you're going to get a ton of the tutorials and videos. Uh, we like to educate people as much as humanly possible to be fully armed when they use this information and trade thirsty um, basically blocks out time on a almost a weekly basis for me to talk about this information here's the uh, URL down below and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to look at the questions that you guys may be having let me pull that up so I can see it Okay, we've got some questions. I need to catch up here. All right. Are any of these free charting? Uh, well, I mean, you've got to have a platform to use the indicators. You do not have to have a platform to have the scanner. The scanner updates about every 60 seconds, and it crunches a lot of data. We have this, let me... Uh, I think we've got a lot of questions here. Whew. Okay. Let me let me go back in time here and look at some questions. Let's see. Jeanette, you there? Hey, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. trying. I'm trying to catch up. There's a lot of questions. Here. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm going to read questions. Uh, here we go. Does it work on a tick chart? Yes, it does, NK. Does it work with AutoView? I'm not sure about AutoView. We've got about 10 platforms, like all the usual suspects, TradeStation, Thinkorswim, Ninja, Gain Capital, OEC. Um, uh, the rest of them are escaping me, but I think Trade Thirsty's got that on the download page, every, every one of them. And you can always use NinjaTrader 7. I think it's free. Trading view, uh, we don't have it working on trading view, but again, the scanner, you do not need a platform. Does the dashboard tell you the aging of the patterns? Sean, okay, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, it gives you real-time price derivatives and, and when opportunities are happening. And, and if you're asking about how long the opportunity has been enforced, that's actually reflected in the risk reward scenario and I've, I've got a whole video I did just on that topic um, Santanu can futures be symbols be entered on your dashboard you only show currencies uh, we've actually K we've got all the front month futures and continuous contracts what you can't do on the future side is actually enter in you know July 2018 beans right now if that's what you're asking um, but we you know we have a static um, kind of most operative, I guess, futures contracts in there. Does it work on multi-charts? No, it does not work on multi-charts at this state. Okay, I don't, I think those questions are for me. <laughs> I'm looking yeah, they, back at they, they look like they are. Okay. Um, um, what do you mean market profile? Uh, market profile is, uh, uh, I hope we've explained that somewhat well, but a lot of that is 
again, deep dived into the market profile course that you'll have access to. I don't use any of the MT4 Trading View or Ninja, but would like to have it. Are there any of the free charting? Okay, you're answering those. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is this mainly for stocks? George, that's a great question. No, actually, <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of the people that use our indicators are futures traders because it works very well on short-term time frames, George. Uh, Art, um, the psychology of trading within the 70% zone, the market profile, um, that, that's a long answer actually. It, that, that's a fair auction or balanced area and what I like to do personally is pick my battles on the perimeters of that particular balanced area. And uh, again, the videos really kind of pattern themselves how I use this information. A lot of different folks out there might use them with, with different tweaks, but I, I talk a lot about uh, how, do you, how I use that in a powerful way, the, uh, the inflection points of those balanced areas. What is a good long and good short trade setup for the next week? James, if we have time, I will uh, try to try to use the scanner to find one for you. We just looked at a couple. Can we see futures examples crude or e oil or e-mini? I'm going to show this really, really quick. So here's, here's, a good, here's a good thing that I was talking about before. Here's the ES continuous contract. Here's, again, you know, profiles edging higher, breakout. So what's happening here is on a long-term time frame, we're trading above profiles on our weekly. So what I'm doing based on that alone is I'm drilling down into lower term time frames. I'm looking at my daily and I'm using a, like the, almost the time frame to the right always to regulate the trade and pick battles based on that long-term time frame. And I can even do this on a five-minute chart. So here's a five-minute chart. We're using the same premise. Forget the shorts. That's, that's not where the edge is. I'm finding the longs based on that long-term slant being long, okay? I had a little bit of a breakdown here, but on a short-term time frame, you know that that's where your stops are supposed to be, trading the ES. And again, it tries to make it pretty black and white, I think, for most traders. Okay. The link is down below. Jeanette's going to kick me off here pretty soon, so I want you guys to make... <laughs> Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm flying today, guys. I'm sorry about that. I know we, we had a lot to cover, and uh, there's a pretty good lineup today that Jeanette's got on, on deck here. Who do I contact for questions? Do I do you get the room with Steve Dahl? Um, well, I don't see why not. We can't do that. Um, if you get this package, then uh, you know we, we want you to be as fully armed and educated as possible. That six hour, that's from uh, George, that six hour course is something very, very special in my opinion. I mean, they're, some of the institutional guys um, have their whole office watch it. So the whole trading desk for BMP Paribas, it's mandatory reading and watching. And if you get this uh, package for nothing other than the, uh, the scanner in that course, you are way ahead of the game. Let's see. I'm going down the list here. Can you have a filter to look at 100 stocks in the scanner? Um, well, you know, you've got you can you can look at the Nasdaq and S&P together. You can look at the Nasdaq alone. You can you can make your own custom list, Judy. What criteria strategy creates the starting point for any new profile level shown? It's an automatic algorithm, Alan, that outputs when a new profile is supposed to come out based on volume relative to price. NT8, uh, we are working on it right now. We wanted to get Thinkorswim out of the way first. If you get this package now, you'll be locked in to receive NT8. We're working on it right now. We just wanted to make sure we had Thinkorswim out as the next package. Does the scanner work on futures contracts? Yes. TOS is free. I think TOS is free if you have an account there, Larry. And the indicators can, um, can overlay on Thinkorswim now. Is any reason for an infinity, infinity member to add this? Yes. Jerome, Sierra charts, we've got that done. I forgot to mention it. It's already a package available. Can you use this system of day trade futures with it? Yeah, different time frames? Absolutely, Dinesh. Rick, would you mind showing some major Forex pairs? Euro, yeah, let me do that. 
the euro, the bane of my existence. Who asked that question? <laughs> I like to trade the dollar uh, rather than the euro for some reason. So you got to pay an extra data fee for that. So here, here's uh, here's the euro. This this is this is a great question. So here here's here's the weekly on the euro. So again, what I like to do is I like to let the longer term time frames kind of dictate to me what side of the market I'm supposed to be on on the short term time frame. So right now. I know that the euro's in a big balanced area between 117 and 120 and a half, basically, right? We're kind of near this area down here. So this is this is kind of where I'm looking at still basing longs if I can get down into this area. If I break, then I know I'm looking on the short term to look at selling opportunities. The euro really, you know, it's, you know, I, I could talk for hours about interest rates and my feelings on them and how the dollar could be affected and then obviously the euro is an inverse relationship for the most part with that. Um, but again, that's what those training sessions are for. We go, we take questions, we look at real-time market uh, opportunities as they unfold. And uh, I forgot who asked that question here. Rick, great question. Indicators are available for TAS. Um, are you grandfathered at this price for next year's renewals? Al, yes. Good morning. Could you please go deeper into what is stuck? Okay. Art, I think we've covered that a little bit. Uh, let's see. See your charts. Does your website have anything? Yeah, um, again, Asking for examples, we've got a ton of videos available to you guys, and again, we're going to do the help sessions as much as humanly possible. Any payment plan available? Uh, Darka, on this offer, um, no, it's such an incredibly discounted offer. This is why we're doing it as a Christmas special, and it is going to really upset some people that are selling our products out there a lot for a lot more money, including us. Um, now I know why institutions have such a big advantage. Is that Jim? That's that's a kind comment, um, but I just got to tell you, at face value, you'd be surprised. You know, most guys out there that I meet in the Bloomberg world, there's some really smart groups. I mean, Citadel and Wolverine and those guys, big time trading operations that trade billions of dollars. A lot of institutional guys are really good at raising money and they look to credible sources like the and software products like the ones that I offer to give them actionable ideas and um, you know Bloomberg you know we have an unlimited licensing deal that we roll this out on Bloomberg um, with you know all their clients that's included in the terminal fees which you know are over two grand a month I don't expect anybody to go get a Bloomberg terminal just to get our stuff for free there um, but it's a uh, it's a widely accepted concept to be used in institutional traders. A lot of a lot of those guys are fundamental. I mean, most people have Bloomberg terminals for fundamental reasons, and they're the worst at entering and exiting trades I've ever seen. If they if you base everything on fundamentals, so a lot of them will use this technical information to pick their battles on the buy side or sell side. So let's say they're long biased. Okay, then they're moving over to the profile technical indicators to figure out, okay, where's my entry points on that long bias? Phil, what's the monthly yearly price after a year? Um, uh, again, I think we're going to honor, Straight Thirsty is going to honor this for perpetuity. Is interactive brokers in your plans? You know, that Art, that's a good question. We, we, we've looked into that, and we have to um, kind of coordinate things with them. But in the meantime, you know, if you – get the package, you're locked in, and uh, there are some other platforms you can use that are free in the meantime, but we are looking at that. The Thinkorswim version is accurate, correct? Their platform is okay. I don't, I don't know if that's a question. How is your navigator different from the MACD or Momentum? That's an interesting question. MACD, it looks like MACD. It's not. It's just in a histogram format. It has nothing to do with MACD. It's got a lot going on with that, and there's a Again, there's a 77-page manual that I think really, really explains Navigator very well, along with videos. I think, Martin, I think Jeanette has 
recorded this. Okay, that was a lot of questions. I think we answered most of them. And I apologize for having to go so fast today, guys. There's a lot here. You know, we could spend a whole day going through this information. Um, and maybe we will. Maybe <laughs> we will. Because so there are a ton of questions in here, but we're on limited time. So yeah. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to gonna bring you back. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, guys. And Jeanette, thank you so much for, for letting me uh, speak about this today. And I hope everybody can... Uh, you know, get on board with what we're doing, and uh, we'll be doing the training sessions too. If you're a subscriber, all right, brother. I'm gonna take the mic back and I'll yep. post your link for you one more time, and uh, I'll holler at you in a little bit. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Thank you.